Welcome to this episode of Rex's Photo Booth Reviews and Tutorials. Today we're going to be talking about carts. It's one of the most important pieces of the gear that you should have uh, in your warehouse because we use this piece of gear to move all our other gear. Why this piece of gear is really important because number one, it's going to save your back. It's going to save you on a big chiropractor bill. Number two, it's going to help save you time. It's going to help you get in and out of venues much quicker. You only need to make one trip in, one trip out. And this way, especially if you're unloading off of the street and you can't find parking, you can have one of your other guys go and park the car, but this person get, get all the gear into the venue by themselves. Today I have two carts that we're going to go over. We're going to have to go over this Ozark Trail right here. This is kind of like a picnic cart that I've seen a lot of photographers use. And then kind and then the other cart is the Rock and Roller, which I've seen a lot of DJs use and uh it folds down really great. They're both right around 20 20 pounds. Uh this cart right here will support up to 225 pounds in gear. The rock and roller, this R6, this particular model, introductory model, will hold up to 500 pounds and it folds up very, very neat, very small, and it actually fits into the back seat of a car. The first model we're going to talk about is the rock and roller R6. I've had this cart for, oh my gosh, going on five years, haven't had any issues with it. And what I really like is the form factor. It's very uh, thin. It fits in most passenger car vehicles. In my case, it's a Prius. The weight is very light, only 22 pounds. This thing is so versatile. I love it. So let me show you. Here you go. So this is what it looks like flat and to get it out to a working um, condition, I guess, is we're going to first pull up the pull. So now you have this little cart. Here's one of my printer cases. Oh, it's heavy. And now on a smaller event, you have a rolling cart. Okay. So that's for smaller events. And this cart is really versatile is why I love it. But then let's say you have more equipment, you have multiple cases, you have backup printers, then you can go ahead and extend the cart. So now you can pull it out and it becomes double the length, right? So now you could hold twice the amount of equipment. And the other cool thing is if, if you don't have the room, you can turn this cart into a, a dolly. So watch, so we can go ahead and fold that arm down, place it here bring your case back in all right and if you don't have a lot of room now you have a dolly look at that how cool is that extremely versatile you can still put it down and you can roll it around okay and one of the things that I recommend whenever you are using the rock and roller is to have a bungee cord of some type, especially if you're going to be putting things on top like stools, chairs, tripods, they tend to slip off. So I always recommend having a bungee cord, like a four or five foot bungee cord bring it up over the top, lock it together. And now when you hit something, your accessories don't go falling off. So I, this is one why I love this cart so much. They're very durable. This cart holds up to 500 pounds. The wheels, once they're worn out, they can be replaced. Uh, many of the parts, they also have accessories. You can also get a bag. So if you do tripods or poles, you can have them going in the bag standing uh, vertically so when you go through a door you don't hit the sides because doors have standard sizes and so um, with all the accessories that you can buy this is one of my 
top choices for carts. The Rock and Roll R6. If you have a larger van or a truck, then I recommend the R8 or the R12. All pretty much work the same way. The R8, the R12, they have larger wheels. They even have the newer wheels where there's no air and they don't go flat. And once again, those can be replaced as well. So the cart pretty much works a very, very long time. All right, this next cart that I'm going to introduce you to is a Ozark Trail Bag. It's available at Walmart as well as on Amazon. And it is very compact, very light. And I refer to it as a picnic cart because I just remember seeing these at the park. But these are very good for uh, hauling equipment as well. And this can easily fit in the trunk of a car or the back seat, even the front seat as well just very very compact folds down really nicely it's got velcro and let's go ahead and open it so here we go let's open it up it's very easy to open and transport this thing holds up to 225 pounds very deep well so nothing falls over the top i'm going to go ahead and turn this card around so to show you the the uh, profile there and you can see here is my case so there's a couple of ways that we can do this the first way is we could just lay it on the rails and it will fit on there no problem the cart can easily handle the weight 225 pounds no problem but there's it's kind of difficult to strap this down with the bungee cord like you could with the r6 if I'm using this cart, the easier way would be to put it in diagonally. There you go, which I don't like to do because I like to keep my printers flat, even though I do empty out the, the shards after every event. And this is what it looks like. And you can go ahead and adjust the handle. And this will get you in and out of the event very quickly as well Oof. one of the best ways to use this cart is if you have a lot of backpacks you have a lot of camera gear um, it fits really well because the last thing you want to do is to put three backpacks on your back or to put any more bags on your back after an event because you're pretty tired, you've been on your feet all day. But this, so if you have lighting, if you have camera gear, you have lenses, this is excellent for something like that. This is perfect for bags, accessories. If you're doing, you know, the Pelican style cases or the SKB cases, this is probably not the cart for you. Something like this is absolutely perfect. Look at the profile on this. I don't need to take three bags and put them on my back. I can put them all into one cart and wheel everything out in one. It's all about efficiency, saving my back, and doing the job as flawlessly and easily as possible. So as you can see, we have two different style carts, two different purposes. This cart, awesome for bags and accessories. That is the Ozark Trail. This is right around $95, and I'll put the link to this cart below. This one holds 225 pounds, and it folds up to, very, very, to a very compact form factor. This cart, the Rock and Roller, probably better for DJs, photo boothers with a lot of gear, if you have a lot of cases. This definitely is the way to go. This is the Rock and Roller R6. This is the introductory cart. You can also get an R8 or the R12, and I'll put those links below as long as, as along with this little piece right here. Very, very important to have a bungee cord, and I'll put a link to one of my favorite to uh, one of my favorite bungee cords as well. 
So if you, if you learn anything, you like the video, please like and subscribe to Rex's Photo Booth Reviews and Tutorials, and I'll see you next time.